So, good morning everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to today's Cruise Seconds webinar. Can everybody, can everybody hear me? Yes, good morning. 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 So, today's topic is the uh, online view, which is a uh, part of the uh, Omnitrend Web Reporting module in our software to um, to do the online visualization for for online systems like Vibnode, Viper HD, or something like that. So I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you how to prepare or how to configure these kind of uh, online templates for the online visualization. Okay. Now everybody should be able to see uh, my desktop to see the Omnitrend software. Is that right? Good. So um, I'm going to show you the online view today on a um, on a Vibe node. So um, I just have uh, configured a Vibe node with uh, three single measurement points, one vibration, one RPM, and uh, four to twenty milliamps. And um, you know that you can start out of Omnitrend, the Omnitrend web which you need for the uh, online view uh, software. So the online view is implemented into the Omnitrend web. And uh, I'm going to show you now how to um, yeah, register this software feature in order to uh, create your online templates. So when I start the Omnitrend web out of the Omnitrend software, You know that you um, when you want when you want to register new software features in the Omnitrend web, it's a must that you have to log in uh, as administrator. So when you log in as a standard guest or a user with supervisor or, or technician right, you are not able to you are not able to um, register some software features. You see here under administration, the registration. Uh, uh, menu is, is grayed out, it's, it's inactive. So what I have to do, I first I have to um, switch users to, to admin. Just wanted to make sure that the password for my admin is set properly. Okay, there's no password in there for, in, for my database. I'm going to Omnitrend Web again. So I'm now logged in as admin here. So I just click on my user guest. And then the login window appears again. So I just log in as admin. You see I'm logged in now as admin. And with the user admin, you can now put a few registrations. But also, you see here, with uh, user admin, I have no chance to uh, create any reports or templates. So the administration uses just for this, these administrative rights, uh, um, well, these administrative issues to, to create new users, to create uh, new um, registrations, or to change user rights. So make sure after the registration you change your user back to guest or whatever you have logged in. So the admin users just for putting in now here the registration. So under administration, registration, I get, I come in, I um, see here this registration window. And you see here in my case there's already an online device, an online view device uh, registration in there. But I'm going to show you how now how to uh, register a new one. So first of all, you click to the button request licensing. And then, as you uh, yeah know it from other other registrations, 
in the army trend with so you have to put in here your company address and everything and the CD serial number. And then here with the pull down menu you choose to link to one device, five devices or ten devices. That means you can go up to here um, 10 different online devices with that licensee. If you want to work with more than 10, you can also um, register two different online uh, few devices, maybe a 10 device and a 5 device. So you can in total work with 15 online devices then. So you can mix mix these three types of um, registration that you like. For instance, um, we use here now the one device license and then you put in here your licensee for instance Marcus you press create ID and then your next step would be to create a fax and this is what you have to send then in to proof technique where we can create your password for this online view one device license. If you have received the password, you go back to this registration window and you say new. You put in your licensee and the password what you got from Proof Technic and here you choose again this online view one device license and you press OK. But this is not the correct password now. So when you press OK and then you get the message registration done, then you get something like that. You see here? And here you can choose from all registered online devices in your database which online device you want to use for the online view uh, licensee. Because we have only here one to um, yeah, to administrate the, uh, one, uh, the uh, two devices. So this is just for one license for one device and if you want to have a licensee for five or ten you can add more online devices here into the left hand um, window so if you do if you do not put in here an, an online device in that window the online view will not work you can you are not able to configure then the online view so you have to put in here your online device for which you want to use with the online view okay any questions so far regarding the registration of this online queue? No? Good. Can I carry on? Is it cancelled here? Close. So as I said, um, in order to to do now uh, uh online queue template I have to switch back my, my user because with admin I have no chance here to um, do the configuration for the online queue. So I switch back to my user again. And then you can find here under tools, online view, different um, different features for the online view. We have a history online craft the screen, the so-called alarm signaling, and online template. Let's start with the history online craft. So when I start that one, I have different buttons here for create new one, for edit, uh, for edit uh, history online craft, to delete someone's properties, and show. So let's say we want to create a new one. And then you see here, for your registered device in the online view license, you see in my database I have much more, I'll show you, I have much more online devices in that database, but just for this online view license, I have picked the uh, vibe node, and therefore I see only here the measurement points which I have downloaded into the vibe node. This is the RPM, the vibration, and the 4 to 20 milliamps. I don't see the other one. So, 
I can say, okay, I want to maybe just see the 4 to 20 milliamps, and I select just the 4 to 20 milliamp, or if I want to see everything, I do it like that. I select everything, say okay, and when I press now to show, then this window pops up. Then you have here your different measurement points with tool tips, so it shows you where in the database it is, uh, what kind of measurement it is. And then the online view is updating every 10 seconds the value from the online system. So you see here, now it starts here to get some reading. So when you wait another few seconds, you see here now it starts here to bring uh, in the readings. I set now the uh, refresh rate to five seconds. So this is the minimum. You cannot go lower than five seconds. So every five seconds, this online view software is getting uh, the new uh, values out of the online system. As you see here, now it starts here the readings. And if you want to uh, zoom in, you have here a button with settings. And then you can change here the mode from time mode to scroll mode. And see what happens. Then you have here your readings, and I can also zoom in here. So this is the history online graph. So this is my 4 to 20 milliamp signal, and this is my vibration measurement. The RPM here is up uh, at 800. You see the scaling is now to 20. So I want to change the scaling to see also the RPM. I can go here to settings again. And uh, I say scaling channel. I choose now my speed channel. And then, see here, the scaling went up to 2000, and I can also see here my RPM. The green one, this is my RPM trend. So here with this settings button, you can change also, um, when you go to edit channel, you can also change here the names. And you want to change here, for instance, the band name into Vibration, then you can say, okay, choose here, name, other, and put in vibration. You can also uh, change here the scaling. You can say out of scale, or you can use a fixed scaling when you want to change it. You can say you want to see here the alarm threshold in, in the, into the graph. So if you have put in alarm threshold, you see here, now you see here the name vibration instead of the band name. And all changes that you that you were making here will be stored into the database. So the next time you start this, this history online graph, these changes will uh, re remain inside this template here. So they, you will not lose these, these changes. They are stored in the database. Okay. Any questions so far regarding this history online craft? No questions? Okay. Then we close that one. On the properties here, you see um, you have also you can change the name. So let me call it, call it maybe graph on the test. And you can say history. Default is 100 minutes. That means if you have already data in your database for these measurement tasks and you start the history online graph, then you will see the last 100 minutes out of the database plus then the new data which is coming online from the online system. So when I, and you have already stored data into your database, 
and you start the histrionic graph here in this case you would see then the last 100 minutes of data out of the database in your graph plus the new um, the new values which are coming online from the online site like, so something like nearly uh, one week something like that I think this is the maximum yeah six days 22 hours 39 minutes a real even even a number <laughs> so um this is the maximum that you can display um back from your database and from then to display online out of the uh, out of the uh, online system under settings you can also here change some colors and borders and everything so this is nice to have to change there a little bit the colors and everything and you say okay then you have here your new history online graph okay so we close that one the next thing what you can do in the online view is the online screen the same buttons here for show new edit delete properties so we, create, we will also create here a new one. You see again your tree structure for the vibe node, which is registered for the online queue. So here you have a button base node. So you can put in maybe your base node on the location, on the area, on the machine train, on the machine, or just on a single measurement point. So um, let's say we put in the base node on machine train. And you get something like that. And we're going to display now this this one. So we say OK. And then show. And it looks like that. Then you have an overview of your machine train. You have here a connection button. That means you are connected to the online system. And you have some information of the uh, name of the machine. So this is the text that you have put into your Omnitrain database. The state normal, so this will change if you have an alarm to red alarm, yellow warning, or if you have a sensor error, gray, you get a gray button here for sensor error, and then you see here different values, RPM, vibration, and the 4 to 20 milliamp. This picture you can also change if you like, I'm going to show you that later. And here you have also some information, um, the text, what you have written into your Omnitrend database. So let me just close that one. So what you have in here. So this is then demo, if not new train, demo, if not new train. When I change now the base node, so when I go to edit here, now the base node is on on a machine train level. So when I'm going to change the base node on machine, then the display looks a little bit different. You see, then you have such such a display. You see all single uh, measurement points. RPM, vibration, 4 to 20 milliamps, the state, and the value. And you see here, in this case, I have already changed a uh, picture. In this picture here, you can uh, set in your Omnitrend Win software. So when I go back to my Omnitrend Win, see here, and I said I put my base node here on the machine level, this tab additional info. And you see here, there is an image and use as location image is set to yes. When I put in the right mouse button, I can deactivate that one. So that means with the option additional info, you can put in JPEGs or GIFs or whatever in there. And with the right mouse button, you say, okay, this image should be used for the online view screen here on that point. Unfortunately, at the moment we cannot we cannot change the size of this one. So you must make sure that if you if you upload this or if you 
copy this picture into the Omnichain Win database, the uh, pixel, so the, 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 the size of the picture is fitting into, into this, into this template. So if you have a real big picture, it will move everything to the right hand side. So you would be maybe not able to see your values again because the picture will take the whole, uh, space here on the, on the template. So you must, um, make sure that if you want to change your picture, it has the, the right size to fit in here. So this you must do in the Omni Trend to win under additional info. You have also additional info on train level. See here? You can also put in now a picture in here. And when you change then in the online view your base node to the train again, then you would see then the new picture which you have which you have um which you have added here on additional info on the train level here comes out of the Omnitrend Win database. Yeah. Any questions regarding the screen function? Because this is everything what you can do here with the, with the online screen. It's like a table where you can see all the values online. One thing is when you double click on that one, you see automatically in history online graph pops up just with this uh, measurement what you have selected. And you see here also for the vibration there's an alarm and warn threshold in there. So out of the online screen, double click on the value, you get a history online graph. And here you see the value starts to be displayed. And down there, vibration, RPM. Any questions so far regarding the uh, online screen? No? No questions? Okay. Hello? Yes? Yes? Uh, we are not uh, here in new machine. There are six parameters. Yes, but I downloaded only three of them. So in the root, in the root, there's only the RPM, the vibration two, and the four to twenty million. Okay. So it depends what you have that you have configured in your root. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Then I'm going to then I'm going to close here the online screen. The next thing is alarm signaling. You see here, uh, there's n nothing, uh, there's not a lot what you can do. It's first you must create a new alarm signaling. And this is then a, a pop-up window which is popping up on your screen when there's somewhere an alarm or a warning or sensor error on an online system. So here you can choose for which online system. So these are all the registered online devices in my database here. So I choose my bit node. And then I have three buttons. Alarm settings. Warning settings and open sender settings. So for the alarm settings, it means if there's somewhere an alarm in the online system, you can say, okay, play a sound from your loudspeaker, from your, from your PC. Either use a default sound or you can also pick your, 
you have found what you like. So if you have a, um, a WAVE, a W-A-V file on your desktop somewhere, you can uh, select that one. So for instance, I have always some funny sounds on my PC. Um, come on. Oh no, they are not there. They are on my desktop. So um, you can choose then For instance, this alarm sound. And then you can also say lock events. That means when this alarm signaling tool will uh, pop up and display you an alarm, it will also be able to write an event into your Omnitrend database. So that means when you go to settings now here, I say, okay, if the alarm signaling will display an alarm, it will should it should write an event which is called maybe alarm found in device and with a comment. I don't know. Alarm in DN three in this not three. Also you can say lock event for alarm acknowledgement. It means also in this alarm signaling there's a button for acknowledgement the alarm. So that means if I press this button then another event will be written into your database. So actually you would have a nice history in your database when the alarm occurred and when the alarm was acknowledged. So you can really track then, uh, you can see you have a, 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 a documented into your database that somebody has seen that there's an alarm in the system and he has acknowledged the alarm. So I activate this one lock event for alarm acknowledgement. Also, I say OK. And these settings here, they are also available for. When I close that one, for warning, it's the same. You can also play a sound. You can select a sound file, another one if you like, and you can lock events in case of warning. And the same also for open sensors. If there's a sensor error, you can play a sound. You can lock events. So for all these three uh, kind of uh, alarms or warnings and sensor errors, you can choose play sound and lock events. And this one, auto start settings, you can also say, okay, if I start the Omnitrend web software, it should automatically um, start the online alarm signaling. So it will be automatically in the background that we activate this alarm signaling. And as soon as, as we uh, have an alarm on the online system, this window will pop up. So here you can set this auto start for these different users which you have in your Omnitrend database. So now I'm going to show you how this works. So when I say connect here, and we look onto the VIP node, at the moment there's no alarm on the VIP node. You see there are three values, my RPM, my vibration, and my 4 to 20 million. So there's no alarm on the system. For my 4 to 20 milliamp, I have set up an alarm threshold here for 10. So I have now here the chance to, and I'm going now to change that one. So it takes a few seconds. So the next Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. And Houston, we have a problem. This Houston, window will pop up. It shows you, okay, in 4 to 20 million, there's an alarm. I can stop the sound. I can stop the sound. And I can say, this one, acknowledged. Then it will disappear from the, disappear from the, um, 
alarm signaling window and I can either minimize it or actually close it. Also the next time when we have a, another alarm, this online alarm signaling window will pop up again. Also if I have closed it because it's still connected here. So the next time we have an alarm on another point, it will pop up again to play a sound and will display me where the alarm, uh, where I have the alarm on which measurement point. So when I now look into my database and I go to my uh, measurement point here and I go to events, you see here. Alarm found in device, alarm in Vitno 3, and device alarm acknowledged. So <clears throat> these events were written into the Omnitrans database. Any questions regarding this online alarm signaling? No questions? Okay. So the, la the last thing what you can do here with the online view are online templates. When I open online templates and I say new, you see it's like a small drawing program. Where you can um, add text, images, your history of Minecraft, your screen, your alarm signaling, your digital meters, and signal lamps like traffic light. For instance, you can put in here text, activate that one, place here a window in there, you press the right mouse button. Say properties, and then you can put in your text in here. So online view for five note. You can also change colors and size here. You can add um, the information of the database name, the date, the time, and the user who is connected to the database. So, for instance, when I say maybe date and maybe user, and I say OK. You can also put in a border with different colors. It gets, gets a really nice one. So you see, then you see here the text. This is just your, this is just your template. It's not, it's not active at the moment. This is just your configurator. This is then text. You can put in also an image. Right mouse button, properties. You can load image directly from your hard disk. You can also just use a link to your hard disk, but then you must make sure that this picture will be remain on your hard disk. Um, and you can also use the image man management out of the Omnitrend web or the Omnitrend image. So I usually use hard disk here. I say load image. And then I select somewhere picture. Without border, I don't want the border. Keep aspect ratio and say OK. Then you can put in here an image. Usually you would choose then uh, pictures of your machines or whatever. And then on the image you can also place here traffic lights. So when you put in here traffic lights, um, oh, oh yeah. Right mouse button, properties, 
So I say, okay, this traffic light should be my 4 to 20 milliamps. And another traffic light, either I choose here the traffic light again, or I can also copy and paste that one. Control C, Control V, and I copy that one. And I just go to properties and change here now to to my vibration, say OK, good. I have digital meters here, properties, so I want to display my online value here from the RPM, select, OK, I copy and paste that one. And also my 4 to 20 milliamps. Say OK. So when we have a look at this one at the moment, so we go to show, and it looks like that. You see, you have the text, the current date, and guess is the user which is logged into your database. The traffic light, so this is my 4 to 20 milliamp, which is an alarm. And here also the value with red, background red, which means shows you there is an alarm. And here this is your RPM measurement. And this is your status of your vibration measurement. So with that, you can build up your nice little template. When we close that again, when we say edit, you can also maybe edit here your history online trap and your alarm signaling. That means, you see, this is now the size of this uh, page here. If you want to make it a little bit uh, bigger, you tap here the um, properties, where you, where you can say, okay, the width, maybe we put to a little bit more space to uh, put in your stuff in here. So, for instance, um, let me just Make this a little bit smaller here. Put that in here and here. You can also here um, mark everything and then you can just move everything to the right place. So now I want to put in also my history online graph, which I have configured before. So this is what I did, did at the first. I uh, created a history online graph. So I can say, okay, I put, I want to put in here my history on Minecraft. Right mouse button, properties. And then you have here the selection of all the history on Minecraft that you have configured. At the moment there are just two in my database. So I select the craft tab, say okay. When I'm now going to start this one, you see, then your template will also have the history online graph in there, what you have configured before. The same for the screen and the online uh, alarm signaling. So when I just delete that one again, I can also put in here my screen. Say properties. And select my new train. OK, say OK, show, and then you have your screen inside the template. OK, the same for alarm signaling. So I'm going to just delete that one and I put my alarm signaling in here. OK, show, then there's your alarm signal. You can show you here the alarm. Of sound, and you can say acknowledge. This acknowledge means not that you're going to reset the alarm in the online system. This acknowledgement is just for the online view. So you cannot reset out of this online view alarm signaling. You 
cannot reset the alarm in the online system. This is just for acknowledgement here in the software, in this online visualization. So the alarm is still on the system. And uh, so we create a new template. I just put in here a text. Okay, and maybe uh, one traffic light or one digital meter. And I save that one, so we have template one, template two. So now I can go and say, okay, I want to make a link from template one into template two. So I'll go into my online template one, say edit. And links you can only do with these text uh, text windows. So when you go to properties, you can say, okay, we put in here maybe an add link. So we say, okay, link to my target template two, and the link name is link to template 2. Say OK. And you see your link. You can also change here color or size or whatever. Say OK. Make it a little bit bigger so that we can see it. We say OK. And when we now start here the first template, you see, then I can click on this one. And then, Houston, we have a problem. The next Houston, template will be open. Houston, we have a problem. So I can also now jump from one template into the other. I can close this one again, and I can just start it with this link again. So you can build up a machine trains, and you can build up your your whole um, yeah environment here in the online online view template to uh, display all the all the values values of your online system. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, is it possible to see different templates in one window? One window? Sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, two or three templates are there with us. Is it possible all the four or three uh, templates in one window simultaneously? Uh, what you can do, let me see, you can say show that one. Houston, we have a problem. And you can go in and say show that one, and then you have something like that. So you can maybe put in. Let me just do it a little bit smaller. So you can uh, display them uh, at the same time, but you cannot uh, put uh, everything in that one because it's, it's too much then. So it's better you use here the links. Link. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, if there are no other questions, then um, I would say, um, yeah, thank you for your attention. And um, as usual, we have recorded this, this uh, meeting, and you can then um, download this, this video from our FTP server in a couple of days. Okay. Mark So thank you very much. Have a nice day or evening or whatever and um yeah, hopefully we will see or hear soon from each other. Thank you very much. Bye bye.